Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So AI Explorer is something we've been talking about on the channel, which we are possibly going to see rolled out in Windows 11 24H2, which will be basically a souped up version of Copilot and will be more integrated into the actual shell and running processes um, of Windows 11 24H2, where currently Windows 11's Copilot in the stable version is more or less a standalone app. So that's basically the difference as to what AI Explorer will be all about and will also differentiate a non-AI PC compared to a full-fledged AI PC. Now, last week I posted a video where we had a look at some new details that were spotted and we also looked at AI Explorer's new blue icon and I'll leave that video in the end screen. But just to let you know that if you are following this feature, some new information has come to light and this is according to a recent article and post by Windows Central, which I'll leave down below in the description if you'd like to get some more in-depth info. Now just a quick summary for the purpose of today's video and a quick recap. Um, AI Explorer will basically remember everything you do on your PC to enhance your user productivity and search. And um, Microsoft is um, rumored to be officially announcing um, AI Explorer at next next month's uh, Windows event on the 20th of May. And AI Explorer also is hardware specific. So you will need an AI PC, which um, one of the requirements is you will need a neural processing unit NPU um, hardware to process, obviously, the machine learning and generative AI and so on. And it's also going to be exclusive to devices powered by Qualcomm's upcoming Snapdragon X series chips and i have also posted a video on um, possible system requirements to be able to um, run ai explorer and i will leave that video as well in the end screen now some new info is that um, basically ai explorer will um, run in the background and capture everything you do on your computer so no matter what apps or interfaces you're looking at it'll be able to turn them into memories that you can recall um, at a later point. And this is very similar to what I'm seeing as an example in the Google Photos app where you get your different memories. So it's basically going to be able to do the same thing um, according to this article. And also, um, according to the post by Windows Central, um, much of this experience is rendered on the actual device and does not reach out to the cloud to process information and obviously, this um, will be important for privacy reasons, but also for performance reasons. And I think that um, kind of statement is going to be met with a bit of debate regarding AI Explorer and privacy. But nonetheless, that's not the point of today's video. And then moving on, um, AI Explorer will also feature a user interface, apparently, that um, will run along the top of the screen. And it will let uh, you recall memories based on your inputted search and a whole lot of other search in um, criteria that will be more integrated into the actual OS and the actual shell as mentioned. So basically it will be a banner and a search bar that um, will be across the top of your screen when enabled and so on. So this is just a bit of a mock-up regarding what that is all about because obviously the feature hasn't rolled out yet. And then AI Explorer will also enable the ability to search for things using natural language. So you will no longer have to be confined to specific or strict search terms that must be accurate for his, for results. So basically, it's going to um, be, give you the ability to search for, th for things basically using a natural language, which I actually think, if you are using the feature, would be a step in the right direction. And another thing it will be able to do is... Um, according to the article, would be able to analyze what's currently on screen and provide contextual suggestions and tasks based on what it can see. So as an example, just a brief example for this, um, if you're looking at an image in an app or web page, AI Explorer can present suggested tasks such as remove the background of this image using paint, which can be initiated with a single click, obviously. So that's where it becomes more integrated into the shell um, of the OS as we have been talking about on the channel. And just to finish off, basically uh, Microsoft's CEO uh, has basically also said um, previously that personal computing is about to enter a new era thanks to AR 
and this AI Explorer. And obviously, um, this is a feature like most new features. Um, as I have um, kind of discovered after making quite numerous videos on this channel is I think this is going to be a feature where you either like it or you don't. And uh, um, I just hope though that although it's integrated more deeply into the actual shell of the OS, I do hope that Microsoft does give an option to be able to turn the feature off. Although it is hardware specific, I do hope there is an option to be able to limit it running kind of in the background at all times or hopefully turn the feature off if you're not using using it and you have the necessary ARPC hardware. And as I've said previously, if you don't have an ARPC, which most at this stage don't, then when 24H2 does roll out, I think you will get um, some of the so-called um, AI enhancements that will be rolling out with 24H2. And if you do have a fully fledged ARPC, then I would suggest that then you would obviously get the full package, including AI Explorer. But more to be said about that at Microsoft's um, Windows event next month on the 20th of May, which obviously I'll keep you guys updated about when that um, becomes available. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.